Hey guys, good morning. Obviously Tuesday, or Wednesday morning. Yeah, it's about 6.15 right now. I'm getting ready to go in, eat some breakfast here in a minute and get ready to go. Uh, got a busy day today. Look, it's cloudy. I don't think it's going to be cloudy all day. I think it's just going to be cloudy this morning. So yeah, I'll take advantage of the uh, the clouds and the cooler weather. Yeah, although it is super humid right now. So yeah, y'all, not really a big fan of the humidity, but it is what it is. It's part of the country. So yeah, y'all got to deal with it. Luckily, unfortunately, it's starting to get a little more humid with the rain we've had. Over the last week or so, we've had some, you know, decent rains uh, day to day, that kind of thing, y'all. But yeah, I don't think it's supposed to rain today. It's just gonna get, it's gonna get warmer, you know, as the clouds go away, that kind of thing, guys. But, hey, listen, I appreciate all the comments. I'm gonna address a couple of the comments, and I appreciate all y'all. Landon, man, you're always encouraging me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think there's a the fine, there's a fine line in the videos, and I feel like I'm getting better and better at my videos. By the way, you know, as far as communicating and explaining things and putting the videos together uh, correctly, so to speak. You know, uh, I don't want to be one of these guys that just shows all footage. And I don't want to be a guy, you know, that just talks, talks all the time without showing anything. So yeah, I feel like different people like different things. So that's kind of my uh, strategy. But yeah, I do like to throw in tips for guys that do this because I do, I do know a lot. You know, when it comes to being out here and. <clears throat> uh, being good at what I do and that kind of thing. So there's a lot, I have a lot to offer and a lot of information, so to speak, that I can give y'all to help y'all out because I've been doing this so long, but yeah. Yeah, y'all, uh, and Kevin, yeah, buddy, my thinking is with James, man, I, mean, I do, I am a pretty patient man. Like I said before, I'm so used to dealing with employee stuff and, you know, guys being late, no call, no show, you know, calling in sick, all that. It's just something I'm just used to this point so I tend to deal with it my thinking is though Kevin is I'm at a point of the year <clears throat> where I feel like I got enough help especially with Shane now uh, even though he's not super skilled when it comes to weed eating especially uh, I feel like I got enough help you know to get through the summer get through the growing season and then come you know the the, the off season you know the winter time when things slow down I can get really serious about you know, finding new employees, and I'm going to use some various uh, internet sites, Indeed and ZipRecruiter. I actually looked into those earlier this year and thought about using it, but decided to hold off. But yeah, I'll definitely be using those this coming year to really get serious about hiring, because I'm going to have to find somebody obviously to replace Justin, uh, somebody potentially drive the truck, that kind of thing. But yeah, my thinking is, also Kevin, is uh, I feel like James has potential, and even though he's obviously <laughs> making me feel a certain way about how he's doing. And I continue to have these talks with him, I'm trying to encourage him, let him know I appreciate his efforts and does does a good job. I mean, he's pretty good at what he does for the most part. Uh, but I feel like he's got a lot of potential, that kind of thing. I'm just hoping he'll snap out of it and grow up and mature and that kind of thing, you know, because I feel like he might be a guy that could offer me a lot of value uh, in the future if he'll just get to where he's reliable. Uh, so that's a big key. Like I said before, you could be John Deere or the best weed eater out here in the world, but if you're not showing up, what good does that do me? You know, that kind of thing. So yeah, y'all y'all know that and understand that. That's kind of my thinking with James, guys. It's really doesn't matter at this point whether he shows up or not. I feel like I got enough options in terms of help uh, to deal with that. And I feel like he's got potential. So that's really my, my thinking with dealing with him. So yeah, y'all, it's... Uh, I don't know. We'll see how he does. But anyway, yeah. So that and Kevin, uh, not Kevin. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Mer Mer not Merlin. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I, I, Med Medlin, Medlin, Medlin. I was about to say Merlin. Medlin, yeah, I appreciate the shout out yesterday. Chad, by the way. But anyway, man, yeah, I really like your equipment. And I'm look actually looking into a tractor this fall potentially to help my firewood business. Uh, I don't know if I'll get one as nice as you have. So I know obviously they're not cheap. I'm gonna be looking on the marketplace and some other sites to potentially find a good used tractor that can help me with uh, my firewood business. So yeah, that's something I'm looking looking at purchasing possibly in the coming months. But yeah, I really like that equipment and the, uh, yeah, the Ventrac. That's a cool looking machine, all the different attachments that you can use on it. It's really cool. But yeah, man, I appreciate that shout out. Uh, I'm always going to try to help guys that are trying to add to their uh, subscriber count and all that. And y'all, if y'all are watching and y'all know who that is, yeah, Medlin and uh, Medlin Land Services, I believe, right, sir? 
yeah, hopefully I got that right. Yeah, he, uh, he's got some cool equipment and seemed like a nice guy. I believe you're a veteran too, right, sir? So yeah, I appreciate your service, by the way. But yeah, y'all, hey, listen, got a busy day. I used to be in two trucks. I went ahead and I was thinking about the schedule for uh, Hunter. Hunter's supposed to be here with Justin. And I, I reiterated to Hunter, I'm like, dude, just be on time, please. Can you be on time? Like, he's good about showing up, but he, he tends to have a hard time getting up in the morning. So I don't want him to have to meet Justin up and then, you know, <laughs> Justin have to deal with uh, taking him back to where he's at so he can follow. Because I'm going to have them basically all around uh, Auburn today. Uh, schedule's going to be a little different. I'm not going to have them in one area so to speak so yeah if he's late it's gonna kind of mess things up a little bit uh but yeah i got them i think 22 yards on the list and they're all half acre or less lot so they should be able to fly through them but yeah y'all i got them a busy list i ended up i had a, a laser on here but i ended up taking it off a second ago and put the other walker on because i mean yeah they didn't have any yards they're gonna need the laser z so yeah i figured I'd go ahead and put both walkers on the truck in the case, obviously, something happens to, you know, one of them, at least I'll have a spare to use. Um, that's, that was kind of my thinking. Well, what if what if something happens to one, something breaks on the walker? Well, at least I have a spare to go to. But, yeah, James is going to meet me. Uh, he's got a doctor's appointment at 830. So I've actually got a tree I'm going to be cutting down right the road. I uh, want to make sure I get it cut down before the city picks up this morning. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. It's right by the road. You'll see. I'm going to get some footage of that. I got a couple other yards, but uh, not James. Uh, Shane. Shane will be meeting me shortly after probably 9. He's got a doctor's appointment at 8.30, so he's going to meet me after that, and we'll meet up, and he'll be with me the rest of the day knocking them out. But, yeah, y'all, hope everything goes good today. I don't really have a topic. I thought about mentioning something, but, yeah, we'll see how the day goes, and I'll let you know how many yards we get done at the end of the day. We should do maybe close to 40. We'll see. But, anyway, y'all, hey, listen, hope you're having a great day. God bless each of you. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I appreciate the two seats. Got a brand new chain on it. Ready to go.
Hi guys, y'all saw me just knocked out that job there. Uh, I'm still charging 50 bucks. Didn't take me very long, maybe 15 minutes total. Obviously, <clears throat> you know, I brought this up before the importance. Make sure you got a good chainsaw because they come in handy for sure. I was taking out a couple of good ones. I, I mean, I need them for my firewood business. And also make sure, obviously the importance of a blower. I mean, uh, normally you'd see a lot of people out there with rakes, raking all them little dead limbs, you know, sticks off the ground. But you can see I made quick order, quick short work out of uh, blowing all those little sticks on the ground there with the blower. So yeah, that came in handy. I've been able to blow all those sticks into the pile there. And like I said before, the city gonna be coming, picking up, picking the pile up this morning. So everything worked out good today, guys, but yeah. Uh, off to a good start. Uh, Hunter's on his way. Hunter should be there at the gas station. Justin just passed. So, yeah, everything's going good so far. Talk to you later. Hey guys, figure you quit up, quick update real quick. Uh, just got done mowing this over here with the pond in the back. Got some footage. That's a nine dollar yard. Took me a little over an hour. I am solo now, unfortunately, for the day. Uh, before I get into what's going on as far as Shane, he had an appointment at 8:30. Still not here yet. I'll get into that here in a minute. I love the sweeter string, guys. And Will from uh, West Texas recommended this in the video I did talking about weeder string. This is the rotary twisted black version. I believe that's what they call it, twisted black, whatever. That's the rotary brand. I really like it. So it's starting to grow on me for sure. Uh, become my preferred string. I mean, I like the black diamond as well, but uh, it tends to gouge the grass at times. The rotary, it seems like it really glides over the grass and doesn't gouge into the grass at times like the black diamond does, like I said. But yeah, y'all, uh, really like that weeder string, really good. And it seems like it's pretty durable too. It lasts pretty long time. But anyway, guys, hey, listen, I'll give you a quick update what's going on. I mean, I'm still having a good day. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Justin and uh, Hunter are knocking them out. They're doing good. I haven't got any calls from them, so I'm assuming everything's going good on their end. So they're getting yards knocked out. But I'm still waiting on Shane, even though he did just text me uh, that the doctor's about to see him. So y'all, y'all, I mean, I don't... Uh, so his appointment is 8.30. That's what he told me. He had to get something checked out. You know, seemed like it's pretty routine based on what he's telling me. So literally he's just now telling me, and he was texting me earlier, telling me that they're understaffed and uh, they only got one doctor there. I'm not sure where he's at, maybe a urgent care, I don't know. But he literally he just texted me, it's 1.15 now, uh, about five minutes ago before I started doing this clip, that the doctor is just now getting ready to see him. So literally he's been there since 8.30, and here it is, almost 1.30, and they're just now getting, I mean, is that, does that uh, pass the smell test to you? I don't know, y'all. I mean, I want to believe him, but uh, something seems a little off there. I mean, I just find it hard to believe that doctor's office would schedule somebody for 8.30 and uh, it takes them four hours to finally actually check them. But yeah, I don't, I don't know, y'all. I'm just I'm so used to having people BS me when it comes to working out here and, you know, hearing these goofy stories and stuff. But yeah, man, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he's telling me the truth. But yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully he'll show up because I've got quite a few yards in the neighborhood after I eat lunch. And yeah, they're relatively close together. And I could use his help. So yeah, hopefully as soon as they get done checking them, he'll show up and be ready to go. But yeah, y'all, it just seems, some seems a little fishy to me. I'm not sure. I mean, he needs, he needs the money and he needs the hours, but he's not here. So yeah, y'all, uh, hopefully he'll get here as soon as he can. That helped me out. Obviously I'm still doing really well, y'all. I'm still, yeah, so I fertilized the yard. Uh, 
I did that tree job you saw, and I probably mowed like eight. I mowed like eight yards, so yeah, I'm you know doing well for the most part, generating some good revenue and that kind of thing. But yeah, be nice to have some help, sure. Uh, <clears throat> even though Shane's not here, I mean, I can't really complain. Like I said, Justin and Hunter are knocking them out, and I'm doing pretty well uh, by myself. And uh, as long as he shows up after lunch, after I get done eating, and assuming he gets done with his doctor's appointment, that really helped me knock the rest of the yards out in the neighborhood I'll be in the rest of the day. But yeah, y'all, uh, hope y'all having a great day, guys. And one day I'm going to have a day where everything just goes flawlessly, like I said, but it seems like it's, it's almost like a joke. That's, <laughs> I mean, you know, some, something's going to happen, you know, that kind of thing, especially when it comes to guys that, you know, something's going to happen, y'all, every day, somebody or something. I mean, it's just like a running joke, like, for real. But whatever. I mean, I'm still doing great and still blessed and going to make some good money today and generate a lot of revenue. So, yeah, y'all, uh, overall, I can't complain. I just, you know, it'd be nice if Shane was here to help, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm going to assume he's telling me the truth, guys. So, yeah, we'll just say that. I uh, hope you're having a great day, guys. I'm going to eat some lunch, and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, ended up being a good day overall. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, short hand on my end. Luckily, uh, <clears throat> Justin and Hunter both did a good job. They showed up, they were on time. Uh, they knocked out the list. They ended up doing 20, uh, 24 yards, y'all. So yeah, I mean, they're all small yards and a lot of them were close together, you know, back to back beside each other, that kind of thing. So yeah, uh, they knocked out 24 total yards. Uh, and even they even got home at a reasonable time. I think Justin, I think they were here. I think Justin was at the house around four. So I got done here at the house around four fifteen, I think is when it was. And I just finished up. I loaded up for, for tomorrow. We'll just be doing the HOA, my big HOA account, the Brooks, tomorrow. And uh <clears throat> that'd be it. I may end up mowing a yard or two by myself. But yeah, I was work about half a day and then obviously get off with fourth, you know, let Justin and Hunter off. Uh we'll have Justin and Hunter with me tomorrow. I got a good feeling tomorrow is going to go good, y'all. I got a feeling both guys are going to show up. And we're going to knock it out. They're going to show up on time. Let's, let's hope Hunter shows up on time. I, I know he'll show up, but can can Hunter show up on time? Can he get out of bed on time? That kind of thing, guys. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Hey, listen, it ended up being a great day. I think uh, I ended up doing 13 uh, yards mowed by myself. I fertilized two, and I cut that tree up all by myself. Uh, yeah, Shane never showed up. He texts me around two o'clock and uh, so I don't know what, I text him the address and he's from Auburn. So, I mean, I don't know what happened. I mean, he said he was on his way. He said 15 minutes to be there. And I guess, I don't know if something happened to his phone because he tried calling me. I tried calling him back and just went to his voicemail and I haven't heard from him since. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if his phone went dead or what, but anyway, y'all listen, this is what it is to this point, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, uh, I just assumed that uh, given his doctor's appointments at 8.30, he said he's going to be coming in you know, to work afterwards. I mean, he, and he was texting me that apparently the <clears throat> the they were shorthanded, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't know, y'all. I ain't going to worry about that. It's, it is what it is at this point. I mean, it's, like I said, y'all, it's almost impossible to go a day without something happening out here. So, yeah, y'all, like, like I said, I'm used to it. I deal with it. I get over it. And uh, I dominate no matter what. So, yeah, we ended up doing, like I said, 37 yards total in the two fertilizing. And uh, I cut out that tree, like I said. So, yeah, I'm sure we did well over two grand. Uh, two trucks, two guys. You know, I didn't add up the numbers. But I'm sure it's well over uh, $2,000 for revenue. So, yeah, y'all. So, yeah, despite Shane not showing up uh, and being shorthanded, I mean, you know, still had a great day. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be thankful for. Uh, thank God for giving me the energy to come out here and 
uh, you know, knock things out by myself. You know, you know, I was really hoping it'd be nice to have some help today. But yeah, a lot of the yards I did weren't yards I really necessarily needed help on, uh, that kind of thing. But still, yeah, I was hoping to have some help. I had a, I had a, uh, changed up my schedule a little bit. I ended up uh, moving a couple yards uh, in the neighborhood that I was hoping Shane was going to meet me in to Friday because I just didn't want to do it by myself. So yeah, hopefully, I'm assuming he'll be there Friday. He should be because he needs money and he's not going to be working tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, y'all, uh, hoping he'll be there Friday. You know, give me some help. So yeah, we'll do two trucks Friday. I doubt I'll do a video tomorrow, y'all. Hey, listen, uh, a man, Johnny Mose, uh, sent me a message on yesterday, a comment on yesterday's video. He's not a big fan of James. I know some of you old school guys, Kevin, Johnny Moe's. I'm not sure how old you are. I'm sure you're older than me. And listen, guys, I, I, I agree 100%. Uh, and, you know, the way he's doing me doesn't sit well with me. But I'm so used to it, like I said before, I just I just deal with it differently. You know, I know you old school guys uh, would say fires. You know what? You know, you're not going to put up with that crap, and I agree with you. But uh, things are a little different now, obviously. I'm not sure... Like I said, I'm not sure how y'all old y'all are. I think, Kevin, you said you're retired, but I'm assuming the workforce was probably a little more, a little better uh, then, Kevin, when you were running a business than it is now. So I just, it's, you almost got to deal with certain things that you shouldn't have to deal with nowadays, just with society being the way it is. But yeah, y'all, it's just, I'm just going to deal with it. Let me say this, I'm going to deal with it through the summer. I'm going to get through the summer. And if Shane and James, if they don't tighten up and get a lot better, about being here, making sure they're here, they'll be gone. You know, I'm going to do everything I can to find some good guys next year. It's going to start with these internet sites, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, and some of these other sites. We'll have to do a video talking about that where we can find guys, labor. But yeah, I'm going to make sure to sign up for those sites. I looked into them this year, and I came close to signing up. I never did, but, yeah, I'm definitely going to – I ain't going to deal with this crap next year, y'all. I'll just say that. But regardless, I mean, I'm still crushing it out here, so I can't really complain a whole lot. Still making – you know, some tremendous revenue for size business I have and profit, that kind of thing, y'all. So, yeah, thankful for Justin and Hunter doing a good job and God giving me the energy and the strength and stamina to do what I did today, too, y'all. So, I probably did $1,000 by myself. I'm not sure exactly, but, yeah, probably around there, maybe a little more. But, yeah, y'all, uh, listen, I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I got a great family, great life. That's really all that matters at the end of the day. I uh, hope you're having a blessed week so far, guys. Enjoy your 4th of July. Uh, I doubt I'll do a video tomorrow. Who knows? Probably not. But yeah, I'll probably at least do one Friday. I'm sure if I'm going to do one tomorrow. So yeah, y'all, I'll talk to y'all. Talk to y'all Friday, most likely. And I hope you're having a great day. Great rest of the week, guys. Talk to you later.